We were eating in that restaurant right behind me. And I looked across the table and I said, Dad, school is stupid. It's a waste of my time. The teachers don't get me. I'm not going to go to college, okay? And I grabbed this and I handed it to him. And it wasn't the first time he heard me make that speech, so he finished eating his food. He looked at me, he grabbed it, and he opened it. It says, reasons for not graduating. And it was my grade 12 report card. No English 10, no English 12, no English 11, no communications 11, no social studies, failing every single course on this piece of paper. And uh, I said, you know what? I, I can't do it. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm not going to go back. I think I'm going to drop out. And he looked at me and he says, that's a choice that you can make, but not under my roof. So I was 17 and I had to choose between going to school and finishing high school or leaving home. And the choice I made that day shaped every aspect of my adult life. So of course I decided to drop out and I finished the school year basically in the cafeteria or the library every day working on my very first business which was a, uh, a YouTube channel for video games. And I got to be honest, when you first decide to move out or to, to drop out of high school, and I'm sorry parents but it's fucking awesome, right? It's everything you've ever dreamed of. It's, and I got to stay at home for a couple months so it was basically no one to listen to, nowhere to be, no time commitments, playing video games in the middle of the day. It's pretty fantastic, but if you're someone right now that's thinking about dropping out of high school or you're a parent watching for your kid, watch this video through because eventually the honeymoon period is over. You kind of are like, okay, well, I played the video games, right? I'm, am I going to do this forever? And if you're working a job, for me it was the business, but I was only making 600, 800, 1,000 bucks a month at most, you kind of think, well, shit, is this all I'm going to do? Like, is this my life path, right? Like, I had bigger goals than that. So eventually, the other shoe dropped, and I had to move out, right? I, had to, I couldn't stay at home anymore with my parents. And look at this, we're here right now. This is the very first place that I ever moved into, right? I had to move out. I was a teenager, and there it is. I won't stop for too long, but that one right there, that one with the open window. And I shit you not, I could touch every single wall, the stove and the toilet standing in the middle of the room. Um, so that's what happened, right? I had to, I had to leave. And this is when the real world starts to hit you because the world says, Hey, you haven't accomplished this. You haven't graduated high school. So now we can only fit you into these couple boxes, whether or not you can think outside the box enough for yourself to actually accelerate past that is up to you. So one of the biggest benefits I got the second I had to leave and I had to, you know, go into the real world is that I had to learn real world skills right away. Like I was thrown into the fire. So I was forced to be resourceful, right? How do you go at, at 18 years old with basically no credit history, no job, no previous, um, you know, re uh, references and go out and find a place, right? I had to go out there, hit the doors, hit Craigslist, marketplace, ask people and really sell myself to these landlords. I had to find someone that was willing to take a, sh a chance, a shot on me and let me rent their place. And it's just these real world experiences that a lot of people that, you know, are trying to apply for college and just get into a dorm room. And I'm not saying, you know, there's anything wrong with that, but it's just some of the ex experiences like, um, you know, just applying for a house, filling out a, a lease and things like this that I got to learn really, really early. And then when it comes to making money, I don't have an ed education, right? So it's either I start a business or I learn some high income skills. And this is one of the best things that came out of me dropping out of high school is that I knew the only way for me to make a whole lot of money is was to get into sales. So I got in to door to door sales. Now doing door to door sales, I honestly believe is one of the most, the most valuable skills you could ever learn as a person right? It makes you learn how to accept rejection. It makes you learn how to be able to sell a product, right? If you can sell something, you will never have to be broke a day in your life because you can always make money off of something, right? It gives you person, like, uh, person to person skills, right? Communication skills. Doing sales has really, in, like when you go trying to get into business, trying to make money anywhere, even online, in person, anything at all, being able to talk and sell, not just a product, but be able to sell yourself uh, is one of the most valuable things. And that 
I only really would have only gone to sales because I dropped out of high school because it was the only way for me to try and make six figures a year without any education whatsoever. Um, so getting into sales, learning that and being resourceful are two of the main things that I attribute to any level of success that I currently have today. And another key aspect is that it really gave me a chip on my shoulder. Now, I don't know if everyone operates like this, but it was kind of like everyone doubts you, right? Your friends, your family, the people that love you, that you love the most, really don't think you're gonna make much of your life. Holy, what the fuck is that guy doing? Holy, people be crazy out here, y'all. Holy, anyways, people don't really believe you're gonna do anything with your life. Right now, I remember I went to a grad party uh, for high school, a graduation party, and one of the guys comes up to me and says, hey, this is a graduation party, not a failure party. And it's just the little things like that, or you're, you're just your, you know, people that are supposed to be on your side that just don't think anything's gonna happen with your life, and they give you these little shots. Um, like, I remember one of my uncles, he gave me 50 bucks for my birthday, he said, hey, you're really gonna need that. And I was like, bro. So it's just like having that chip on your shoulder, having something to prove. It's probably not the greatest motivation, but it, for me, it kind of is. It kind of is a fire for me to be like, you know what, fuck all you guys. Um, check, watch, look, at, look at me soar, right? Watch me now. And I think that is kind of a thing where it's like, you can get that out of anything in life. Whereas, you know, depending on how you frame your life, how you see the, your day, you can kind of get a chip on your shoulder for everything. But I think this was a big motivator for me to be like, hey, yeah, you, 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 you wait and see. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think that whether it's a benefit or not of dropping out of high school, that was something that really pushed me. All right, we got out of the rain. Let's finish the video in the office. And the next great thing about dropping out is actually kind of ironic is that it pushed me into learning. And learning is something I love. It just wasn't through the education system, right? Don't get those two things confused because in high school, it's all about memorization, right? Re read these facts, memorize them, and if you fail, you get them wrong, you get punished for it. That's a terrible way of actually learning anything. So I'm talking about learning to implement, learning to go out and you know use it in your life um, and to open your mind and to develop yourself, to create your own identity, right? Going through like some of my best ideas, some of my best memories come from listening to Audible, laying down in that, you know, that apartment building I showed you in the middle of the room, just listening to Audible books and just noting things down. And everything was like a brand new idea, a brand new concept. Oh, I never heard about that in school. Oh, I never heard about um, real estate investing or how to develop your credit and just putting in the time to learn things that actually mattered in your life, right? As opposed to some algebra equation or something, uh, some poem written in 19 or 1874. It pushed me to learn real life lessons, right? All my friends are talking about how they have student loan and, and debt, and I'm sorry for laughing, but it's like they have this debt and going to school for something they don't even wanna go to school for, or they don't even know if they wanna do in the future. And I'm try trying to learn how to increase my credit limits, increase my credit score, right? How can I do like uh, credit churning and use points to travel? And I'm d developing and trying to build my credit um, and everyone else is kind of lever over leveraged and they're, you know, they're 19 years old and you're super over leveraged and you're kind of screwed. This perspective I was able to gain is only because I wasn't kind of pushed in the conventional direction. And probably the thing I'm most grateful, most happy for, something that I think a lot of people, this is what stops them, is that, it taught me to fail, right? I was literally a failing student, an F student. I was a dropout. That was your whole life up to that point from three years old until 17 is to accomplish just one thing. It's to graduate high school. And I started life off. I started my adult life off with a big failure. And that was such a blessing because one of my mottos is just fail more. People aren't doing enough things. People aren't experiencing enough things. They're too scared to fail. Right, so you start off with a failure. I got nowhere to go but up. So I'm just, let me try that out. Oh, that didn't work, that sucks. Let me try out my, let me start a catering company. That didn't work, that sucks. Let me try doing this YouTube channel for gaming. It didn't really work out, it kind of sucks. But now I'm learning all these life experiences. By the time I'm 22, I've already tried so many things. I've already, you know, I, I ran two different businesses. I applied for different business loans. I got a $50,000 loan. I did all these, so many things to apply to actual real world. I've lived in four different houses, um, rented four different houses out myself by the time I was 23 years old, right? And then I, I eventually I traveled Asia and I, I got to go all over around the world because I wasn't afraid of, oh man, what, what major should I pick? I'm gonna be stuck in this major for four years. Hmm, what should I pick? Let me decide my whole entire life right now. 
well, fuck, you're screwed, right? Like, what? Well, how are you going to decide your whole life right now? You just got out of high school. You're just figuring things out. You haven't really gotten to test out the world. You haven't got to figure out what you like, what you don't like. And now you're going to spend 60K to, you know, to, to learn this thing that you could just all learn right now by opening your laptop and typing it out, right? It's the age of information. It's the, it's, it's the information era. Anything you can learn in a high school or a high school textbook or a college textbook, I can learn right here. I can learn right here on my phone. I don't need to spend $60,000 to do that. And look, if you're if you're someone that's looking to drop out or thinking about dropping out of your parents, like I said, and you got to this point in the video, I know I've been making it sound great and all, but really when it comes down to it, the truth is the final nail in this is that it's all about accountability. You know, when I decided to drop out, I put that accountability of my life on my shoulders, right? I didn't say, I'm gonna get this degree. I think I've seen so many people, so many of my friends, like I'm gonna get this degree and then this degree is gonna dictate my life. I've accomplished this and now I should have a good life and I can work a good career, right? And it's like, you kind of put a lot of the weight, a lot of the blame on that and you can kind of brush off the fact that you're wasting your day playing video games. You're wasting your nights, not really, you're drinking and you're not doing anything productive because hey, I'm gonna get this degree at least. And so I guess I'm saying that if you're thinking about dropping out, you gotta be accountable for this decision, right? I'm not gonna try and say, yes, you should, or no, you shouldn't. Is there, you know, did I have benefits? Did it benefit my life in a way? Yes, but could it have gone the other way completely and cut, t totally gone south? Absolutely. I think if you're already there, you're already like grade 12 and you're you're passing, you're finishing it, just finish it, like why not? Put in the couple months, it's gonna fly by. But if you're dead set on dropping out, uh, I, I mean, I know I'm not gonna be able to change your mind. Your parents probably aren't gonna be able to change your mind, right? We, we're dead set on that there. When, when, when you're at that point, you're at that point. Now, I just want you to know that you're gonna be accountable for this decision. You're gonna be accountable for the path it takes you on in your life, and no one is gonna give you a break. So whatever you wanna accomplish, you're gonna have to do that yourself, right? No one's gonna give you a chance. Everyone's gonna give you that look, like what's wrong with you? Are you stupid, right? So whatever you do going forward, it's gonna be a big, part of your life is this decision you're gonna make. So is it, you know, would I do it again? Yeah, absolutely I would. But do I suggest it? Probably not. But for those of you that are gonna do it anyways and say fuck it like I did, just know that you gotta take the reins on this shit and, and really steer your life somewhere. Otherwise you could just be a dropout who's just gonna be a burnout stoner kid who just does nothing with your life. That's cool too. But don't think that dropping out is going to be, you know, something that's gonna stop you from being successful. But it will stop you from you know, getting into the, some of the doors that are easier for other people to get into, right? You just gotta break your way into the door. Whether or not you're gonna be able to do that or not, that's up to you. So dropping out, best decision of my life. I wear it like a badge. You know, I'm a dropout, I'm an F student. What you gonna do about it, right? But my badge, what I wear as a badge, some other people are wearing as a ball and chain to this very day, and they're 40, 50, 60 years old. So, I don't know, it's up to you. Now if you're wondering, well how the heck did you do it? How did you drop out and make a bunch of money and do these cool things? Well, boom! Click that video right over there. It's gonna show you exactly step by step how to get it done, how to do it, uh, so you can duplicate the process, duplicate that success. It's super easy. Again, laptop, phone, get it done, all right? I'm JT Franco, and I'll see you in the next video.